involving pedestrians and cyclists. As chair of this committee, pedestrians and cyclist safety will always be my top priority. One potential danger to cyclists is the spillage of concrete onto the street from concrete mixer trucks, which can harden and create bumps that lead to crashes. A cost effective way to prevent this spillage is by requiring concrete mixer trucks to attach a shot closure to the end of the shot on the truck. This device only costs a few hundred dollars, a small investment for a preventive measure that can reduce a street maintenance costs and potentially save lives and prevent accident crashes. At this time, I would like to call Councilmember Holden to make a statement on his bill. Uh, thank you, Chair Rodriguez, for the opportunity to speak on intro 1354, which would require, like you said, concrete mixing trucks operating in New York City to be equipped with shoot shutters or a similar device to prevent the spillage of concrete and materials used in, in uh, mixed concrete uh, by no later than June 30th, uh, 2021. The idea for this legislation came from multiple constituents in my district uh, and uh, my work in civic associations for over uh, three decades. I've noticed this problem for a while um, I reached out to transportation, uh, Department of Transportation many times about these concrete mounds on road beds, bike lanes, and even uh, some sidewalks. Um, my staff and I uh, traveled throughout the district and parts of the city and noticed so many of these areas. Um, and again, they are a hazard to pedestrian cyclists and motorists alike. So intro 1354 is cost neutral legislation. Uh, which could actually save the city money because now DOT or sanitation will not have to clean these mounds uh, and, and take up valuable time and resources. They have to jackhammer these mounds many times because they're so deep. So uh, my staff and I were, you know, over the last, uh, you know, year and a half or so, we're speaking to uh, several industry professionals and trade unions who all agree that this is a big problem and all ag agree that it's a simple fix. So that's why the legislation uh, is going to mandate cement mixer trucks have their chutes capped to prevent spillage of cement, um, which later hardens, of course, and forms the concrete ma uh, mounds. You know, I noticed that once uh, I was on the BQE and the truck was going up the Kosciusko Bridge, right in front of me, uh, it uh, spilled. And again, very dangerous, but also it, it creates ponding uh, in, in rainstorms. So, I want to thank Speaker Corey Johnson and his uh, and his uh, chief of staff Jason Goldman, uh, who I hounded for a while, but uh, you know he came through, and as well as Jeff Baker and Lori Papa and uh, and their um, support for the bill. Also, Chair of the Transportation uh, Committee, Councilmember Udonis Rodriguez and his staff, Elliot Lynn, Rick Arbello, uh, Kevin Katowski. Uh, for their help, and Alex Washington uh, for the legislation of the legislation division uh, who helped draft this bill. And I would also like to thank DOT Commissioner Polly Trottenberg and her staff for working with us on the bill. It, it's rare that both the council and the administration agree on a bill so early on. Um, and uh, I was, you know, quite surprised because it never happens to me, but uh, it's, it didn't go unnoticed that she, uh, she uh, liked the bill right away. So, and finally, I wanna thank my staff for all the hard work on this, um, including um, who did several phone calls from constituents and, uh, and getting city agencies to remove the cement mounds. So um, again, um, I urge that all my colleagues vote aye on this bill uh, and thank, thanks all the council members who signed on and supported this bill. Uh, thank you, Chair Rodriguez. Thank you, council member. And before calling and uh, uh, calling the, the for the vote, I would like to say that uh, that we were not able uh, to hold a hearing on transportation or the bills because the MTA refused to come to a hearing that we have in a schedule and, and where DOT agreed to come and MTA refused to come on time to address transportation after the corona during and after the coronavirus. And I want to share with my colleagues so that I've been urging the MTA to reopen the train services from midnight to six in the morning. Uh, we think that in, it is enough. Uh, it, as it is true that we have to clean the trains at the station, the MTA should establish what is the, the, the timeline
for how long the train will be closed so that they can do the assessment and let the New Yorker know when will they plan to open it. So, you know, I wanted to share that with you and also to address, to share with you too that we will continue working to hold a hearing together with MTA and DOT. The other things also to share with the members of this committee is that, as you know, after the state passed a law to allow the city to decide on making pedestrian, to making electric scooter, electric bike, illegal in the city of New York, I'm down and open to discuss these bills and down to meet with the advocate, but I will, from my role as a chairman, I also need to address issues related to safety before also we move those bills. So hopefully again, we get uh, to address those issues and move those bills and, 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 and later on get the MTA to agree to come and have a joint hearing with, the, with, with DOT. With that, I, will, I urge my colleagues to vote yes on this piece of legislation and as a committee clerk to call a vote. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on transportation. Proposed introduction 1354A. Chair Rodriguez. Aye. Cabrera. Congratulations to the sponsor of the bill, Councilman Beholden. With that, I'll vote aye. Cohen. Uh, I do want to congratulate the sponsor. I, there's something incredibly satisfying at the City Council when there's a bill that's your idea, that you saw a problem, that someone brought to your attention in the community that you identified. And it, it's always a lot of pushing to get those kind of bills through the council. So I really want to congratulate you on, uh, I know it was a uh, hard fought battle for a bill that just is going to make the city a little better. So congratulations. And with that, I vote aye. Deich. Aye. Ku. Uh, I vote aye. I also want to congratulate uh, Council Member Holden for introducing this bill because we have the same problem in my district. Thank you, Council Member. Levine. I vote aye. Menchaca. I vote aye. Miller. Thank you for such common sense <clears throat> legislation for a problem that we've experienced for many years in Southeast Queens. I vote aye. Richard. Congratulations, Councilman Holden. I vote aye. Rose. Um, I want to say thank you, Councilmember Holden, for just such common sense legislation. It seems like this should have been done years ago. It's not like a new problem. So I, I want to congratulate you on just some real grassroots common sense legislation. <laughs> Thank you. And I vote aye. <laughs> Diaz. You hear me? Yes, sir. I would aye. Thank you. Holden. I vote aye. Thank you all. One moment. Let me just double check. Okay. By a vote of 12 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, proposed introduction 1354A has been adopted by the committee. Thank you, everyone. And with that, we close this hearing. And before that, I would like to, you know, uh, congratulate, of course, Councilman Holden for this bill, hoping that working together with City Hall, we, we get this bill to be activated as soon as possible, as also to install the side guard in all trucks, city owned or private one. And for also the trucking associations who represent that sector too to continue approaching the largest numbers of trucks that contribute to crashes on the whole city of York, especially in the South Bronx, where they also have a large numbers of those trucks. With that, I call uh, uh, Council Member Reno, so is logged in. Okay. Continuation roll call, proposed introduction 1354A, Council Member Reynoso. 
I vote aye. Thank you. Vote is now 13 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you. With that, this hearing is adjourned. Thanks, guys. All council members on public safety, if you could please remain on this Zoom. We're going to continue uh, momentarily.